the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Star Trek Flicka Man fans. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a new officer that just came out here this month. Uh, it's September 2024, depending on when you're watching this video. And by the way, big shout out to all those who come through after the fact. I've been going through a lot of comments lately from, you know, people watching some of the older videos to get help as much as possible. Really cool to see that happening. So if you ever drop that comment down, I'm going to see if I can try to find it. But today, we're going to talk about Tora, who is a pretty cool name. But we'll admit, I, I think the name is uh, pretty neato. Sounds pretty... Uh, bad eight but we're talking about whether she is effective or not now she is a little bit scary when you're looking at her she just oh god she just pops up on you like that but you might not have ever heard of her because well she's not exactly canon but that's okay just because something's not canon doesn't mean it can't be effective and with this being a new update to your armada officers the question then becomes well are they worth adding to your arsenal and repertoire now by the time of making this video this officer does not have any open sourcing but it's month one We'll see if that progresses as well as the rare that accompanies this officer, but I don't have a video out on them. As I unlocked this one through the SLB this past weekend, I hoarded, upgraded some ships. Here we are. Got my ISS jelly up, hence that video that we just dropped there. If you haven't checked it out, check that out on the YouTube channel. But let's talk about how she works, which I do like her abilities. Now, the idea here, and I talked about this last night on the live stream, the idea was to create an officer, this is what the dev said, that was updating some of the classic crews that we've had before. In particular, you're going to have Dejas, Tora, and Toli, who are essentially upgraded versions, newer versions, maybe a little bit more relevant versions of 5 of 11 and 6 of 11. A combo for armadas that many of you are familiar with. Let's talk about how they work. Safe Cracker here is the captain's ability increases base loot game for armadas and hostiles by 60%. That is the base number. Synergization is going to boost that up. We'll take a look at how much those get boosted up here in just a second and then no lock doors is the officer ability which is the one that a lot of you are probably going to go okay how good is that which is a 30 percent chance to increase base weapon shots by 100 percent every round against armadas and invading entities for two rounds and it's cumulative meaning that if this procs every round it's going to add up meaning you're getting 200 percent which is a pretty nice boost and then as you level it up, the chance of proccing is what's going to increase, not the number of shots. A little bit different than some of the other designs we've seen with shot increases, but still potential to be very effective there. Now, as always, let's go ahead and take a look at the totals in terms of what all the numbers are that y'all can kind of make a decision based on whether it has value, maxing it out, etc. And whether, you know, to answer the age-old question at Tier 1, is she any good? Because a lot of officers are, well, are they good at Tier 1? This one I think is. Not amazing, but good. So let's see on the synergization, you see that you can get 40 per side, which will knock that up to a 100% loot bonus, which is nice for armadas. Automatically, we're thinking making this a primary officer crew, at least in solo armadas. I don't think that most people are going to say swap out their Cisco Miles runs for this. Maybe a higher version of this, you might go Cisco Miles hurrah. But if you're really focusing on the loot, you're not going to use this and take over for Cisco Miles. That one's still going to be your primary oomph getter, but very, very nice. And then here is that ability again, maxing out at 100%, but it's still going to have a 100% bonus to these shots every round. So I, I would argue that this is very effective. I would say value-wise, if you're talking about chasing after this as an SLB or something, very good. I would also add that if we're going to look at long-term, would this be something I would prioritize going after? I would because we know the power, uh, the power and value of Armadas. It's also worth noting, and I'm going to come into the Galaxy screen real quick, that 5 of 11 is good, but this officer also, in particular, is focusing on Chimeras, which, as we know, is part of Galactic Invasion. That's what invading entities are. If you're curious what that text meant, where it was effective against Armadas and invading entities, that are the Chimeras, which is a mechanic that's going to run twice a month, meaning this officer not only has the potential to help you in the leaderboards, when those events come around because there is a damage to chimera leaderboard event but also simply to allow you to do better and get more loot when fighting that chimeras which i know is some of the things that players ask for when these first rolled out that's one of the advantages that you're getting other advantages well does this increase shots like how much does that actually work and well last night we did a video talking about that that's this part of the video and i'm going to give you an example this is me counting on my fingers because that's what real intelligent math people do 62 shots is what I was able to get up to with my tribute. Now, 
That is going to vary based on what ship you're using, because remember, the Tribune has a special ability when it has burning activated, whether they're officers you're running. I had Chicote, Miles O'Brien, and Toll Rogers out of pure curiosity, wanted to see what I could get it up to. And then also you can run something like max fortification on your Titan to further increase the amount of shots and stuff you get. But the short answer is very effective and you definitely could see the value. Now, if we go back into yesterday's videos, you see I did try to take on a Dreadnought by myself. Wasn't able to take on the 60 Dreadnought, which is the biggest of the Dominion solos. However, I was able to take down a 60 rare and pretty smoothly, I might add. And also, uh, Fred from IA on Server 20 also came by with similar testing to confirm they could do it as well, which is really nice to see. But in terms of overall effectiveness, it's really hard to argue what you're seeing with on the screen. Also did some testing just to do a straight side-by-side, -side, see, okay, well, how does this compare to just the old school 5 of 11, 6 of 11 con crew? Because that is kind of the classic that I feel this is really targeting at replacing. And I will say that, yeah, it does feel like it's replacing that. Tier one, is it going to be as good? It's going to really rely on the RNG. If you get those multiple shots going, you're going to see a lot of success. And I ran this one right here to take con also, no criticals, just to see the shot value and see taking on a 58 automated shipyard with a monovine, but punching a few levels up, able to easily take it down. Whereas the same attempt with running five of 11 and six of 11 by themselves ended up being a fail. So again, Mathing it out, seeing could I do the same thing, just trying to do a straight 5 of 11 to the raw comparison. And again, I'm only doing that because when I'm talking to the devs and when they were having their meeting with content creators, they, they specified, hey, we wanted to have something that was like this, but making it better. And I don't really have any issue with that as an idea. I mean, 5 of 11 and 6 of 11 have been out almost six years. Those are some of the original officers, like way back in the day. You know, not all the way back in the day, but you get what I'm saying. I mean, they've been around a long, long time. So... This is a nice addition to Armadas. And as you're going through, as you see more of the testing that we ran, see ended in another one here, this time running with no extra boost and bad RNG taking down a 58, was trying a few different things to see how well I could do. And I use the Tribune simply because number one, I love the Tribune. I've really, really been adamant how into the Tribune I am, how much I appreciate, like the Tribune, my tier nine Tribune going brrr with all those shots that you saw in the previous video. And you know what? In fact, like, how can you not get excited? Like if you're a player, truly answer this in the comment section down below. If you manage to get 62 shots off and around, would you not get excited? Look, I know that this game can be frustrating at times, but there's got to be something you enjoy, right? Has to be. One thing for me, unlocking new ships and also doing really cool math nerd things like that just gets me like, oh, dude, that was so much fun. So if you're like me, you're probably going to really enjoy Torah. Then the question really becomes, well, how are we going to get her long term? What's the sourcing going to look like? To allow these type of hits to happen and then on the piggyback of that what is sourcing for the rare going to look like and this video is not meant to cover the rare as again i don't have the rare i've actually only got six shards but decreases all armada and evading into these base mitigation stats by 100 maxing out 1100 and when i do unlock them we'll do some comparison videos with those together but short answer i do think tol Ra is a good officer and it really just comes down to if you see her in a leaderboard probably worth going after there's no such thing as too many good armada crews i really do believe in that statement i mean i, I say that as somebody who's got the voyager armada crew the ds9 armada crew and still throw the classic one out there you could even throw mirror picard but here's the the neat thing not mirror picard i'm sorry enterprise e picard here's the neat thing we talk about using enterprise e picard here's my enterprise e picard right here and his awards do work on armadas but his ability for iso does not so a lot of players have started to use enterprise e picard with synergization to get loot on things like armadas which is not a bad run the only drawback is you're not getting that offensive bonus but you do get that offensive bonus with tolra ah, stop doing that she's very scary and very strong and lots of extra shots just as i am lame She's scary, and I think that's good. We need scary officers. Scary officers are good, makes us feel good, strong, powerful. So again, the idea of like, hey, sourcing, 100% with everybody in the chat. Want to know what the sourcing is going to be like. I don't think this is an officer that like value-wise is like so crazy. Like why would they gatekeep this for eight months like they did with other officers? But who knows? But I will agree with everybody in the comment section that yes, this officer needs sourcing. But at the same time, if you have an opportunity to go after them, I actually would recommend doing so. Go after them in a leaderboard. Maybe they appear in a treasury or a flash pass or something like that. 
good officer definitely gets revs approval because more than anything even though it's rng based it has effectiveness at tier one and one of my key things for epic officers and stfc is they've got to be effective at the very beginning doesn't mean i expect them to be amazing got to be effective so if you like the video and it helped you out smash the like button looks like this right here live long and plunder stay safe for the space cowboys deuces that's me catch you in the next one and now to go work on my football channel and video yeah i got two youtube channels i'm a glutton for punishment an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.